Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol AFRM Affirm. Um, again, I've covered this stock here on the channel and I've had some mixed feelings about it and it just looks like this stock is something that we have to keep talking about it and um, I'm changing my position uh, as far as this stock goes. So that's what we're going to cover in, in today's video. The stock skyrocketed so we're going to cover why the stock is moving to the upside uh, as well. But before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to our firm, guys, again, this is a stock that I have covered here on the channel. I've given you guys updates and, and when everything happened with the stock, I make sure that we cover it here on the channel. I have actually day traded the stock a lot more um, and I don't own the stock yet, but now I'm starting to change my position as far as where the stock is going because of the coverage. And um, when I look at their earnings report and uh, the, you know their guidance for uh, the next quarter. So it kind of got me interested in this stock. But before we actually jump to those details, guys, again, if you don't know what Affirm is, Affirm is a company that does the buy now, pay later service. Um, kind of like a, a competitor to credit cards, uh, but uh, a more affordable rate. So if you go online, you're shopping, you get your checkout, you see something like four payments of, let's say, $50 a month, whatever. Uh, those are the, those are the kind of companies that uh, do what a firm does. So they would, uh, you know, kind of give you the option to pay later, uh, make installments and, and stuff like that. So most recently, they, they announced that they have a partnership with Amazon, which kind of pushed the price of the stock up. And then uh, again, their earnings came out. It just went crazy. So if we kind of take a look at um, a firm here, let's just take a look at the actual stock right now. As we are talking, a firm is up 34% for the day, which is insane. Um, if you look at the number here, so a firm opened this morning, deep down to like 106 and then just skyrocketed all the way now sitting at 123, um, approaching 124, which is insane. So you're probably asking yourself why? So let's go back here again and see. So it, this is why, because they actually announced uh, a 71% revenue growth, which is crazy. And then the guidance for next uh, quarter is even stronger. So couple that with your partnership with Amazon, this is gonna be uh, something that we need to keep an eye on because this is before that partnership with Amazon. They have a 71% growth. Imagine partnering with Amazon, which a lot of people, I mean, like, I don't know anybody that doesn't shop on Amazon. Imagine that now, I, I'm anticipating that things are gonna get even better. So uh, Jim Kramer actually made a really good comment here where he says that, um, you know, as far as uh, the payment system and stuff like that, Affirm and PayPal, they're gonna be colliding. And so if we look at PayPal, this is where PayPal is currently trading right now, 287 per se. Um, so if you just go here a month ago, you look at PayPal has gone as high as uh, almost 295. So I'm anticipating that a firm is headed in that direction. And here is where a firm just came from. So you go back a month, um, a firm had some really bad news. Uh, first, Apple said they were going to do their own pay now, uh, buy now, pay later service. A firm dropped. And then Apple came back and said, oh, we're going to partner with a firm, but in Canada. A firm squeezed a little bit. And so the stock has just been up and down. So this is just the last month uh, for a firm. As you can see here, this stock actually went as low as $63, which is crazy. And then just look at that. This is like monster move, 63 straight to 99, pull back a little bit, and then squeeze now to 123. And I think this thing is gonna keep going up because of that. So um, if you guys remember, I said I, I'm not a big fan of buy now, pay later, uh, as far as, because that's kind of like you getting in debt. But from an investment standpoint, a firm has, ch I'm changing my position on a firm. I'm gonna start looking at this one critically. I'm gonna start buying the dips on a firm. And, and, and to be honest, guys, I, I missed the vote on this one. Cause this down here, this would have been a good spot um, to buy and hold, but I, I bought down here and swing it. And now I'm looking like, hey, if I, get, if I see any opportunities again, I'm gonna start buying and holding this one because if they are competing with um, 
uh, PayPal and then your partnership with Amazon, this thing can easily get to $200 by the end of the year, which is insane. So I'm gonna load up on that firm as soon as I see any opportunity, any pullback, uh, I'm gonna start loading up. Again, I'm looking for something under 100 bucks. If I see anything under 100 bucks, then I'm gonna start loading up because this is getting very, very interesting. Again, um, the reason why the stock is skyrocketing is because um, they beat their earnings crazy. Look at the earnings reports. The revenue went up 71%, and then their guidance for next um, next quarter is just unbelievable. So that is pushing the price uh, of the stock up, which is insane to me. And again, you see people like Kramer coming out and talking about a firm and giving them that thumbs up that, hey, this is uh, a collision course for uh, a firm and PayPal. So if you know PayPal, PayPal is a, a big name in the, in the game. So to put a firm in that same category, I think is incredible. So again, I'm changing my position here. I'm gonna start looking at buying the dips on this one and holding long-term. I might not get a big position, but at least I wanna hold some long-term because um, this is looking more and more like the firm is here um, to stay. So again, that is my take. So for those of you again that don't quite know what a firm does, it's a buy now, pay later services. Um, and their fees are very reasonable and uh, maybe a lot cheaper than your typical credit card um, interest rate that you would get. So that's why a lot of people tend to use services like this than they would do um, credit card. So again, guys, I like I said, I'm changing my position on a firm right now. I'm thinking that a firm is establishing itself as a a strong name in the space of uh, online payment, um, especially for buy now, pay later. So this is uh, becoming something that I, I need to start buying the dips on this stock and holding it because if they continue at the rate they're going right now with this partnership with Amazon, I see this thing hitting $200 by the end of the year, which is uh, to me is not gonna be shocking because um, third quarter rolls around and they put on some incredible numbers, this thing can jump another 30%. So we're talking about 160, 170. By the time fourth quarter comes around it's sitting at two hundred dollars so and i don't want to miss that so again i'm gonna start looking for opportunities to buy the dip i'm really beating myself up now because i had the opportunity i didn't take it guys i can't win them all or neither uh you guys nobody can win it all right so i just have to understand uh see what's happening uh, make my adjustment and go with the flow so now i think i'm gonna be very critical with these, not just day trading, but I'm gonna look at buying and holding long-term. So let me know in the comment section. For those of you guys that are holding a firm long-term, uh, comment below, let me know at what price point did you get into a firm? Uh, and kudos to you guys for holding tight um, onto this one. Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we'll talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has some incredible promotions right now where you can win um, a, a full share of uh, Apple stock, which is about 150 something bucks, or you just sign up, deposit five dollars, you get three free stocks at no cost to you. If you sign up again and start using that crypto, they give you $5 worth of crypto, uh, uh, Bitcoin at no cost to you. So they have a tremendous amount of uh, opportunities going on. So sign up, I have the links in the description below. And as always guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage, stay motivated.